So what happens when a favorite film franchise decides to retcon its last two installments? It's not a tumor. No, that's... Oh well, yes, it's not a tumor, but you have the wrong Arnold movie. Care to try again? Uh, get to the chopper! Again, wrong movie. And I, and I thought you weren't going to be doing these goofy bits anymore. I lied. Find out when we review Terminator Dark Fate. I'll be back. Welcome to Alternating, we're discovering good movies, one bad movie at a time. I'm film school dropout Robert Jarosinski. And I'm the casual moviegoer, Carrie Jarosinski. And while we have different backgrounds and perspectives on movies, our goal is always the same, to help you navigate the cinema world, to determine if you should spend big bucks on a flick rushing to theaters, wait for it to come out on streaming, or skip it altogether. This week we're taking a look at Terminator Dark Fate. If you've had a chance to see it, make sure to leave your thoughts on the movie in the comments below and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all our videos. Dark Fate stars Linda Hamilton and Arnold Schwarzenegger, who reprise their roles of Sarah Connor and the T-800 Terminator, reuniting after 28 years. While Judgment Day in 1999 was avoided, the fate of the human race was only delayed as a new future threat sends a Terminator, the Rev-9, played by Gabriel Luna, doing his best Robert Patrick, back in time to kill a young woman, Danny Ramos, played by Natalie Reyes. Young Danny isn't on her own as the human resistance sends an enhanced soldier, Grace, played by a super jacked Mackenzie Davis. Grace and Danny's only hope for survival against the Rev-9 depends on them joining forces with Sarah and an aging T-800 Terminator. Their fight to survive takes them to multiple locations featuring fights, destruction, and mayhem at every turn. Dark Fate is the sixth Terminator movie in the franchise, but erases Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines, Terminator Salvation, Terminator Genesis. This iteration, made with the full blessing of Terminator creator James Cameron, was directed by Tim Miller, who brought us the first installment of the R-rated superhero movie, Deadpool. Thankfully, Miller's take brings back an R rating to the franchise, along with some of the comedic elements he is known for that lighten up this otherwise dark film. Care, what did you think of Terminator Dark Fate? I've always been a big fan of the three Terminator movies, the originals, and typically when I have a childhood nostalgia invested in a movie, I'm usually let down when they try to reboot or create a sequel that's nearly 30 years later. So I went in cautiously optimistic. The highlights for me, the chemistry between the leads is palpable. In particular, the dialogue between Hamilton and Schwarzenegger feels like two old friends just catching up and the newbie, Mackenzie Davis, had no problem easing herself into the conversation. And next, the action sequences and the effects were great. And they, they kind of had a balance of action and intensity with more intimate scenes that helped the story develop a bit more. And lastly, it's infused with some really, really great humor, mostly delivered by Arnold, but there are definitely some laugh out loud moments. And here come the lowlights. These are really nitpicky things that are coming from somebody who has a deep love of Terminator 2, so I'll preface with that. But first, Gabriel Luna's performance as the Rev-9 Terminator, you know, it was just sort of so-so. And there wasn't actually anything actively bad about his acting, but I just kept thinking about how if Robert Patrick was there, he would have brought a level of intensity that I was looking for. And I probably mentioned this was funny earlier, I could have just probably used a little bit more humor because it was so good. I gave Terminator Dark Fate four stars, and I don't personally think it's necessary to see it in theater, but I definitely recommend seeing it. And if the next installment is as good as this one, you know what I'm going to say, I'll be back. Okay, tell me, what did you think? Well, Terminator Dark Fate was my third most anticipated movie of the fall, and I had high hopes that this installment would get one of my favorite franchises back on track. Highlights for me were the action. Holy mackerel, this movie packs a punch. The set pieces, choreography, and editing make every moment thrilling. Second, humor. Having sense of humor is a prerequisite for me in order for a movie to get high marks, and Dark Fate delivers great laughs thanks to solid writing, wry, sarcastic delivery, particularly from Hamilton and Arnold Schwarzenegger. I was laughing out loud several times. So you're Carl. That's what everyone calls me, yes. I'm never gonna fucking call you Carl. Third, the cast. 
Director Tim Miller assembled an amazing cast that delivers fantastic performances with old guard Hamilton and Schwarzenegger, bringing their expected talents, along with new faces Natalie Reyes, Gabriel Luna, and Mackenzie Davis. And Davis in particular is outstanding as the one sworn to protect Danny Ramos. She is imposing and shredded, and I'd like to see her in future installments or other action movies like this. Fourth, CGI. In the opening of the film, some de-aging is used that I won't spoil here, but it is incredible. It kind of makes me angry since it means de-aging can be done really well, and yet I continue to see it done terribly elsewhere. Lowlights for me were, well, I couldn't find any. While some may harp on the fact that this installment is a retread of the first two Terminators, I personally don't have a problem with it. In the end, this modernized blending of the Terminator and Terminator 2 Judgment Day is just what I was looking for, bringing elements from the past I loved while moving the story forward with new elements. I give Terminator Dark Fate four and a half stars and suggest rushing out to theaters to see it on the big screen. Well, we love hearing from everyone, so share your thoughts on Terminator Dark Fate. We have other videos like this one that we'd love for you to check out, so subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. And if you want more details about all the stuff we're up to, including our weekly movie giveaways, head to our website, alternateending.com. We'll catch you next time.